W W dot uh, God now we have company and I fucked the Patreon, read. www.patreon.com slash final stop podcast. We got hundred plus hours of bonus content. It costs you four quarters to get an extra episode a week. Or if you want to be a real one, there's a ten dollar follower of Gus Lover. We have those dirty little internal affairs. I've cried, Tristan said slurs, Andrew's gotten, I mean, exponentially fatter. It's a good time. It's ten bucks. Be a follower of Gus exponentially. Yeah. It means more than more than one. Tell a friend about the cast. We'll see you guys later. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be good. Welcome back to another episode of the Final Stop Podcast. I'm your host, Daniel Bridgegat, live from the ever-glorious Mescal Manor, Mach 2. Over here on the other side of the country, watch this. It's the Vampire King himself, King Possum, Lord Meerkat. It's Tristan Bolin. You want to see me spit roast this JFL twink behind us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Aldo uh, in the back. Yeah, yeah, dude. And on the side table over here, we got the big man himself, the anti-Riz, Patrick Oriannons, Sir Charlie Horse, it's Andrew Oriana. Rowie, don't stop jerking it. All right, let's continue. God damn. And uh, the guest on the cast today, all the way from New York City, uh, one of the new boys that will be brought into the fold here pretty heavily. It's Rowie Rosen. Hey, hi, hello. That's Am the, I the big first radio Jewish intro. person you've ever had on this podcast. This is a serious question. E- oh yeah, for sure. Uh, unless uh, <laughs> unless unless Galen Nash is Jewish, he's, he's like not. over a hundred episodes. Have, okay, so you have over a hundred episodes. Yeah. How no, many viewers uh, do you have? I know. Now we've stooped too low. Yeah, Let we have you on. You should, if you have more Jewish people on this podcast, maybe you'd be somewhere in your career. <laughs> I was, was going to say, dude, we had one Jewish guy on the you Patreon got one once. Jewish person on the podcast. It's me. I'm like the biggest loser Jew ever. I have zero power, dude. <laughs> Daniel, well, we just start going be- to local attorneys. Yeah. Start asking if they want to be on the final stop. No, the I really thought about that. Trying to just- maybe the attorneys will know a guy who yeah. goes to synagogue. What is the and- smoked fish rule in your house? We need to know. Is there a smoked are- fish policy? Are you talking about me personally? No, there's no fucking yeah. smoked fish policy. Where are, you, where are you keeping your schmears? Because these are questions that will be asked by these old Jewish men. <laughs> yeah. No, see, that's the problem. We were talking about this last week, really. Like, out here, if I say I'm Jewish, like, it really doesn't carry any weight. No one gives a fuck. But out there, you'll get, like, culturally G-checked. Where niggas just what hit you up and they're like, how Jewish are you? You did it to yeah, me the first time I met you. Oh, yeah. so who's, who's going to check you? Like other Jewish guys? Like, yeah, no, but you, you asked immediate questions. The first time that I met you, you are like, oh, you're Jewish. Okay. And then you just started. You're like, and what about this? Have you done this? And I was like, no. And then you asked Fels Bar oh, Mitzvah, well, which is well, like. There's, there's whole sorts of layers to Judaism, man. I mean, you can't even get me started on that. You know, I love that. Like uh, <laughs> I've told you about the worm. You know what? about the worm? The Jew worm? Oh yeah. Oh, you don't want me to do that. I feel yeah. like I feel like that's just the Jewish light skin hands rub. When J- bro, he just started going like this. He's like, you don't even yeah, know what's about that. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm scratching my life. rabbinical beard, dude. Yo, I've been cooking <laughs> since BC, bro. No, yeah, but start rubbing people. the pay. But you know, you know, it, when you meet a Jewish person, it's like, are you serious about this? Are you trying to bring the Messiah back or not? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you have pickaxes in Brooklyn? Are you going down into? Are the you trenches? going down the tunnels? Are you going down the tunnels? You about what that are you trench life or not? back, dude. Because I'm out there every Friday, got on every street corner. Just, are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? When I got my fucking, yo, you got a menorah behind you. I do, dude. I'm telling you, I gotta let these niggas know. They have to. I have to. I don't look oh, I Jewish. Just so hard, I unplugged my thing. Wait, just... <laughs> hey, all right. Let me challenge yeah. Tristan on something real quick. Tristan, right. three facts about Jewish people. Go. Um, I mean, <laughs> weather, they got it. Media, they got it. No, no, no. I want real <laughs> facts. <laughs> uh, no. Publicly uh, agreed upon facts. Publicly agreed upon uh, space lasers. They're in the docket. <laughs> can you uh, give me? Can you give me like three bibl- uh, biblical icons? Old Testament Old, icons. Mean, no, but the Bible, that's, you know, Christians know the Bible. Come on, man. Uh, Job. Christian. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you didn't even look up to Can you name you. three Jews? <laughs> I can name three Jews. <laughs> can you say- yeah, Steven Spielberg, Barbara Streisand, Woody Allen. <laughs> that's the third. That's the third one that comes to mind. That's actually, believe it or not, that's all three Jews. You know, yeah, I, found out, all uh, I found out Tiffany Haddish was Jewish this weekend. I didn't know that. Why no way. That? She just like got back who from Israel. That? Who's Tiffany Haddish? She Do you really not know? She Ari Spears. No, wait, who? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, because uh, my roommate really didn't know who that was either. Do you actually not know who that is? 
Bro, I like spend most of my day like in ancient Judaic scrolls, bro. I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this shit is. Sorry, I didn't mean to take you away from the tablets. My yeah, my no, he's fault. talking about Who Jewish ancient worms. And you think <laughs> yeah. he's got time to be like, who's on the freshman Y uh, J F L fucking? Bro, she's Rowie, a comic? She, she's no, a comic? no, no, not she's for like, I was thinking uh, Y S L. No, she, yeah, I was gonna Ro- say she's Rowie writes writes a set on like the Dead Sea Scrolls. Dude. Yeah, dude, for, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy like, to me. What's for, even in those? Things? Every time Rowie comes home from doing a set, he ro- rolls up his set list and pushes it into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have? Uh, so do you have I'm not even that Jewish, man. I just I just think that we're funny people. Dude, I met your dad, and he is Jew. Wish, dude, dude, my dad. People always think he's like he's a. He's a Mossad commando. That dude. guy doesn't fuck around. <laughs> You're not the person. Dude, he used to come to my my dad. Like he'll wear like all black when he comes in public, and, and he's you know, got like he a crazy like deep Israeli like, like, voice. He talks like this, my father, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> he speaks like this. And uh, I, this is true. I don't know if I ever told. I used to play basketball. I was really bad at it. I, my parents used to make me play basketball, and I never had watched a game of basketball in my life. Really? Like, at all. So I just kind of, like, would ball watch, and I'd be like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and and my dad would come to the games. <coughs> He'd be wearing all black and sunglasses. I'm, like, 15. He'd be wearing all black and sunglasses inside. He looks like he's going to kill somewhere, and someone at the game. He lo- yeah, he looks like, yeah. He's, he looks like Hitman, dude. Yeah. He looks like Hitman with Agent a wig 47. On. Yes. Yeah. And, like... <laughs> and he would show up and I would not know how to play basketball. So there'd be like a rebound and I could very easily just like, you know, go and get the rebound. But but I didn't understand the sport. So I just look at it. And then my dad would be there in, in fo- sunglasses, indoors, all black. Roy, get the ball. Roy, go get the ball. You know, and everyone in my school is like your dad is a fucking Russian asset. No. Yeah. They only said that LA. because. They only said that because you sucked. The black dad of the best kid on the team dresses and acts the exact same way. Just complete all black, <laughs> sun, sunglasses inside, just being a menace because he can because his son is 36 in the first half. No, he's just kind of thinking they're like, oh, fuck, my son looks like the biggest pussy ever, man. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, I, you, weren't good, you weren't good at sports, but you went to a big sports school. Is that something that you hope for your own kids? Are you like, please, God, let me have like a nice athletes yeah i mean so that's the thing is that i don't necessarily want an athletic kid but i want kids that were more into sports than i was because <laughs> i'm like 25 and i'm like i feel my body falling to pieces already like yeah. i just feel myself deteriorating and i go damn if only i picked up like a basketball habit in my life then you know then maybe i'd fucking you know have feel better about yeah myself. have somewhat joint health dude i'm so dissociated from my body i'm borderline trans bro it's crazy <laughs> like i'm so dissociated from bro my body. i don't even know me bro Do i'm you? literally an ethereal being and i just have like this pathetic soft jewish wormy body do you run funny <laughs> like if you run is it comedically funny like you know how some people shouldn't run like do you run like that uh, I mean, I try, man, but I I'm, don't think I've <laughs> ever seen you run. I'm too Jewish to run, dude. I've got like, I've got like. St- I've seen you lay down on the floor of more open mics than you running ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, because my back is so tight because I don't play the sports, so I just try to sprawl out, you know. Like that's that's what I'm saying. If one day, day like, I'm just so bad for your back, dude. Just to hunch over on your phone, dude. It's crazy. I know. Now I, now I gotta fix dude, it. Dude, I start doing like Chinese, like fucking yoga like called qigong just to fix my back bro it's crazy dude Roe's the only white guy in central park amongst the asian grandmothers doing tai chi <laughs> i know i was gonna say <laughs> do you watch that's, that's, that's true yeah i'll go to chinatown and do it and i'll be like look look what i took from you people yeah do you it's watch so good. much i mean I do you watch the second part but i do go there and i do that do you watch so much anime that you gave up on Western medicine? You're like, I'll just do like Kubayachi or bro, whatever the Eastern fucking medicine is so sick, bro. They're just like, you could just <laughs> vibe a cure. Yeah. They're just, just like, do you have cancer? What if you just had better vibes? That's <laughs> medicine. That's, yeah. really, that's all it's like it you have stage four leukemia. You ever try yoga? I heard that will <laughs> help it out. I like southern medicine where you just throw a frog at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Have you ever dude, been you know an old funny. an old Asian man in like fucking par- in a park before? Bro. That should cure all dude, ailments, dude. Dude, dude, yeah. Asians live forever. I prescribe bro. you I prescribe you with 10 milligrams of old Asian man in a park. <laughs> <laughs> no, but bro, dead ad just eat some fish and do the yoga 
and then I swear to God, you'll live forever, bro. No, that's not the formula at all. The formulas have a small cock, because think about it. Niggas eat nothing but soul food, have huge dicks, and die of heart disease. <laughs> it's their fucking... Okay, their fucking guys with small brains. cocks kill themselves at a much higher rate. I heard I heard the yeah. way Daniel pronounced the, the N-word, and I just <laughs> listening to what he was saying. Yeah. Hey, Tristan, I wanted you to I sit up, pal. Your rib. I would, Why? What's he said up? It, he said it like, just, yo, you know my dad said the N-word? Did I tell you this? What? Dude, yeah. Oh, fuck. I should tell you. I should, tell, I should have saved this for the Patreon. But no, uh, we were watching. Uh, bro, you, Aldo's you, face behind you is <laughs> hilarious. Aldo's face behind you being like, bro, what are you doing, dude? He didn't even pronounce it right. Really? He don't said, don't pronounce it the way he pronounced me. it. <laughs> he didn't say me. He said me. <laughs> he said, first of yeah. all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, soccer. And, and there's this player We're Liverpool, Man City. And there's this player of Man City named Jeremy Doku. He's dark, yeah, Jeremy he's Doku. Dark yeah. Skin. He's yeah. dark skin. He's very, very talented. He's a very good dribbler. And he was just like, you know, like when a player just does what he wants to you. It's yeah. like you can't stop him. He's just yeah. I'm like, yo. I turned my Your dad, dad called him a neeger for doing what he wants. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I just, not go, his I just fault. go Yeah, I go uh I go uh damn man, he Doku's just doing what he wants, man. He's imposing his will on us, man. And my dad goes, "Yeah, that's stupid knee." And you can finish the rest of the story. Anyway. How long's your dad How long's your dad been living in the uh, you know, here for? A little while? Uh, my dad, my, oh, dude, my family's been in the States uh, since I was three years old, so I'd say 20, 22, 23 years. Damn, and he's still just letting niggers fly like that? That's no, fucking... no, no, he, that was the first time. I, I mean, they can buy the passports. He <laughs> can't really the, stop it. That was the first time I've seen him be racist to anyone other than Arabs. Over soccer? That's wild. <laughs> that's, oh, that's crazy. Awesome, that's dude. crazy as well, hell. Well, that's what sports is all about. Sports is about hating people for no reason. Yeah, a lot of the fundamentals of sports lies in being racist to someone who is literally just a town over. You can't really <laughs> discern yourself from any, like, just being like, we're from Cincinnati. Well, I'm also from that major area, but in a specific part of it. <laughs> well, but that's why, that's why American sports are the best, because everyone's black, so there is no, like... I like Kansas so City because they're white fly. guys. Yeah, yeah, you can cover half the team. Oh, well, yeah, but it's like my team ha – you can't call the other team a bunch of N-words and then your entire starting offensive line is also a black guy. Like that, you're like, oh, I like well, – I guess you can because you're like, these are the good ones over here that play – these are the Philadelphia good ones. You guys suck. <laughs> Dude, I went to a high school that was like – our basketball team was like – we had like one black kid and he sat on the bench. He was a freshman. Damn, that sucks to be benched as the only black guy on the team. You must be bad, dude. <laughs> if yeah, the what white Duke kids are just dunking on you and just being like, dude, I don't know how you're doing it. No, but we suck, too. We yeah, you're suck. seven foot. And how we're bad was he? Where is he just dri dribbling with both hands, dog? How bad? <laughs> He's dribbling with his feet. <laughs> yeah, what, what yeshiva <laughs> no, but, but school wait, did he go to? This has a terrible dark truth to it as well. There's a darker layer to the story where, where basically the, the – and I was not involved in this, but the let's say. No, yeah, fans, you you've saved yourself, Rowie. Continue with the story. Let's say let's say that the fans of the basketball games for my high school were not kind to black players. When they Wait, where'd you go to high school? Games, Jersey. They weren't chill in Jersey. That's a Union State, bro, bro. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, chill. it's all Italians. Well, you think they're gonna they, be like, progressive be, and woke? Be like a black kid, they'd be yeah, like a black they're literally kid. gonna be like they're gonna be cheering for everyone, just being like, and your and your center. Uh, fucking Demarches, and you're just like, oh, collectively, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, not my daughter. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the point no, guard's like fucking dude, Vinny Giovanno, and he gets a standing ovation. <laughs> it is like they're going through the roster. He gets on the court, and they just hit him with a wand, like a security wand, and shit <laughs> like that. It's like I knew we'd check you in the locker room. We just got to make sure. Oh no! But but the black kids would they'd come to our school, and then the, and the kids at the games would be like, "Guard is left. I heard he has no rights." Or like, <laughs> <laughs> or like, oh, there was one that was so bad. Oh, dude. Oh, there was uh, there was one black guy that played against us, and his number was thirty five. Yeah. Which if you no, know that the no. compromise. No, no, no. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> Dude, it was so so Why bad. Why would they do that? It was so bad. The, the one thing we didn't, they no one was doing the monkey noises, and that's good. And that's uh, that's the, progress. That's the saving grace. I mean, they do that in Europe at soccer games, bro. Oh, You're dude, I, I saw this. I saw a USA uh, basketball guys getting off the 
thing and uh, getting off the bus in China, and they're like, you can hear everyone dying to say the N word <laughs> at a black guy. <laughs> like you can hear them just as soon as like literally foot on Chinese soil. They're just like ba ba, just like immediately, and they're just like, oh, welcome to China, and just like immediately hitting him with that, just being like, oh god, dude. Well, that has to well, be the coolest thing about, thing about right? Is that like in a lot of other countries where they don't have black people. They have a very different relationship with the N word, where they've only seen it in media and they've only seen black people use it in like a cool way. Because like people in like China and Israel and like Portugal aren't watching like American History X. You yeah, know? they're not watching hateful use. They don't know the history of the word. They listen to like like you know Notorious Big B I G or like they listen to like Tupac, and then you go to Europe, and then and then they see that you have black friends, and they're like, <laughs> like they. Bro, they use it so freely there. It's like it's they're like, pumped to say the n word. They're at, so yeah. pumped. They think it's so cool. They think it's so cool. They're like, right? Yeah, no, they, right, dude. No, it, I it, say it too, and now we're both pumped. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you mind turning around and uh, slapping Lockjaw? He's distracting the fat ass. They literally can't stop sucking each other off during the cast. Are you guys yeah, texting? Yeah. Yes, dude. Are you texting Andrew? <laughs> what are you saying, Aldo? I've been texting Mike. Nothing of importance. <laughs> Oh my god. Mike's dude. not on the podcast. That's fine. Aldo, we're trying you to have fucking... a, a nuanced conversation about Judaism and race in America. Andrew, uh, it, well, Aldo, <laughs> not everything's about you. My name's Aldo. I got JFL and I have and 10 minutes of material. Now I got to distract the podcast. Ma, 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 I got, no, I was just, I got honestly, Star Search 2023. All I was, he said that there was a long bit of silence from my side, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm letting Rowie cook right now, dude." <laughs> oh yeah, no, definitely. I knew no because where I'm talking, if any of you interject, you can, you will probably say something racist. If anyone's like, "Actually, I agree Me? with you," I'd be like, <laughs> "You're worried about." You were pointing. Listen, with all that one finger pointing at me, look at the three pointing back at you, pal. I love black people. <laughs> because I want to throw that out That's there. Clip, I clip it. Clip it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love. I actually. Love That's it. confirmed. Clip yeah. it. Also, I Chinese love, people. I love China. Hey, I answer China. me this. I love every person. I hate Taiwan. <laughs> Is that where the Uyghurs are at? <laughs> Yo, chill. You no, can't say did I get that case. right? <laughs> Dude, it's actually crazy. You know, China used to be a mad Muslim country. And then what happened? They got and like gunpowder. The, the, the communists took over, and they're like, "We've had enough of you, damn dirty Muslims." And then they and then they uh, put them in camps. Yeah, but really? then the technology yeah, got actually, really yeah. good. Yeah, dude, Chinese be mad Muslims, bro. You could go, you go get some like fucking like Xi'an famous foods in New York, like some fucking Muslim ass Chinese food. That shit is amazing. That shit, that shit makes fucking lo mein look like dog dick. What about Panda Express? Where does that rank? Panda, yo, okay, so Panda Panda's Express. Just good. That it is gotta just be American up there. food, and it's so good, dude. No, it's it gotta so be up there. Oh that counts. God, Panda Express. They like just fucking like douse it in MSG, and then your brain just like you just eat it, and then and the, 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 we know this. This is like the, yeah. the hack to Chinese food is that they just put MSG, which is a chemical that makes your brain go, uh, 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 and then uh, and then you eat it, and then you're like, oh, it's so good. Oh fuck. That's my impression of a man eating Chinese food. Stop texting this nigga. Bro, be a, I'm gonna lose. Sorry, Roy. I'm gonna lose my shit on your dumb ass. Remo I'm gonna remove the lockjaw. This motherfucker's texting. This this nigga still. I know you. I know you're amused when I say the n word. These two niggas are texting back and forth. It's bothering me. I just threw a book at the fat ass. Pay attention. I'll call this nigga and cuss him out too. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the uh, uh, JFL the funk Hefe. Oh, the can you not hear? <laughs> he says stop calling. Stop texting Andrew. You're such a bad liar. You're such a, You're such a bad liar. Yeah, but you were texting Andrew you before. Can't, you, I was texting Andrew. I admitted to that. So I'm not lying. I'm not texting Andrew. I'm texting well, Andrew. Answer Andrew, me stop this texting texting right now. Back. No, no, no. Dude, I watched I it. Andrew's God, little fat I ass was fucking God. moving around on his that goddamn. getting JFL early ruins I'm texting my mom. Piece of I'm shit. I'm man. I really hope you do well. I'm really rooting for you. I'm so sorry. It's a bullshit anyway. thing for him to say. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna let you're gonna let him say that. You're gonna let him say. Here that we go. Too. I got a I got a Fuck I got a question. What's your? Uh, this is a completely different topic. What is your preferred mode of life? Right, you go to see a doctor. What do you want that person's like uh, demeanor to be? Let's say you go in for like when well, you got strep throat. Yeah. What's like it? Do you want like a doctor who's like, dude, shit's fucked. It's not looking good. You're gonna be a real two three rough days. Can't see any. Or do you want like a 
like a smiley, upbeat. Like, where where do you want the demeanor of your doctor? I want a doctor who's so Korean that he doesn't know how to lie properly. <laughs> <laughs> that's really that's really it, dude. I want a doc. I want a doctor that's so Korean that he can, he can only give it to me straight because he does not have the vocabulary to tell me anything yeah. other than the truth. Just walking like bad, like it's bad. I'm gonna be like, oh god. <laughs> That's he just really he, uh, say as, asking someone how bad it is, and they go, "Oh." And you're just like, "Oh, <laughs> fuck, that's okay." <laughs> then, yeah, We're getting how, heavy meds. How bad is it, Doc? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, because the only reason I ask is, uh, my girl in PA school today got to do her first like inpatient, where you get to like meet with the patient and like go through the checklist of what's wrong. And these are all actors or like graduated school guys. So they come back, and this guy just had a, th- a sore throat, and they get through the whole like process of diagnosing this and that. And his notes at the end were, "She was too nice." She's like, yeah, you were just too smiley and nice in the beginning. And I'm like, well, what? You want me to just walk in and talk like the fucking chocolate lady from SpongeBob? What's up, you dumb bitch? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. I say yeah. you walk in and you just say, it's cancer. If not, let's work back from there. Let's work back from cancer. All yeah, right, start- so you stubbed your toe. Well, we know it's not cancer anymore. Yeah. Is it AIDS? Take these tests. What do you think yeah. is, like, the worst disease that you're scared of, like, I'm so scared of medical shit in general, bro. Like, just thinking about surgery, like, makes me, like, uh, shudder. Nah, I got, a dead, I got a dead guy's knee, so surgery doesn't wig me out anymore. I've been put down once or twice. You got a dead guy's knee? <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's in got... a trophy case. He shot him, and then he kept it. <laughs> it's on the mantle above his fireplace. Yeah, last guy yeah. the wrong me. I took his kneecaps. No. Every, <laughs> every year, he slices off a thin layer like bruschetta. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, you've never had no. kneecap de Parma? It's delicious. Ew, no, like prosciutto, Ew. not prosciutto. Like prosciutto. <laughs> it kind of does Ew, look like prosciutto. It's all red and lumpy. Ugh, the inside. You ever looked inside your body? Not like on some like stared at your asshole in the mirror. I'm talking it's like. So I, you, I thought you meant like goat seeing yourself, like putting two <laughs> fingers in your asshole and spreading it over to the Where mirror. Where did that <laughs> phrase come from? That, that's what I, it's called on the internet. It's I called know that's what it's called in the goat seeing. And then, and then the guy who scored the World Cup winning goal against Argentina for Germany was named Mario Goetze. Really? Yes. Bro. A legend. And then and then every dude in middle school was like, oh, let's go. Yeah. It's Rosef, the butt you? opening guy. <laughs> Rowie's a Goetze. soccer fan, Rosef, yes. Are, on like a one to ten scale, how big of a football fan are you? Uh, like American football? Yes, that's the correct answer. That American is the correct football? answer. Yeah. Let's go, no, Rowie. He gives yeah, me so, so much shit. You had he gives me so much shit for like ask you. while wearing an Alabama crimson. T- bro, that's such a bro, disgrace, bro. bro. You know how you fucking hard I rock with the tide, bro. I went to Bama. I lived that life. You I just asked if I was referring drinks, to football. Right? That's crazy. Bro, that's crazy. I, I, that's cause I don't even watch NFL. I don't really care for the NFL outside of Bama Let's go, players. Rowie. Who Bama doesn't even play here. in what? the NFL. No, I've watched. Let's go, I Rowie. Only watch, I only watch the NFL for Bama teams. Oh, I watch okay. like the Eagles, the Dolphins, the Patriots even. Mac Jones, bro. We were no. boys in class, bro. No. He and Mac You're Jones were the Jones? two class clowns in our communications Ma- class. Mac Jones is funny? No way. Yes, no bro. Way. Mac Jones is hilarious. He's a fucking rich white kid from Tampa. This guy has no <laughs> understanding of consequence. He fucking just lets, like, he just lets it fly, bro. Mac Jones is the coolest guy ever. That's why, that's and why then New then England was, uh, sucked and then, the, dick. and then the other two guys in my class were uh, Damian Harris, running back for the Patriots. Nice. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. and then Quinn and Williams, uh, lineman the D for the tackle? Jets. Yeah. No, well, then yeah, the he D tackle for the, for the then Jets. He just get, then he just get moved? Or the Jets is where he's at now? I, I don't know where of? he's at now, but but he was the funniest guy ever because when he got in the NFL, the first clip that went viral of him was him sneezing and then blessing himself and then thanking himself. <laughs> so he's just in an interview and he's in an interview and he just goes, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he was the man, dude. Hey, Tristan, sit up. It'll be Tristan. I need you to sit up. It'll be weird to frame me if you're laying down. Yeah, no, it's a. Uh, Is this weird in frame? That's actually weird? golden in frame, Rowie. Damn, you're a no socks man. That's weird. Dude, he's been holding his feet like a baby this entire time. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> dude, he's a, he's a weirdo. He's been sitting here just playing with his toes. I'm like, <laughs> That's weird, Rowie. Oh, that stop would weird it. me out, dude. That's you have crazy. hardwood floors you're stuck so lucky into the I bottom can't. of your feet. You're so lucky I can't reach my foot to my mouth. Otherwise, this podcast would be so much cooler. It is. <laughs> you're just chewing your toenails. Care of my feet. I try. I I wash my feet with antifungal soap every night. <laughs> what nice. the fuck? And they still oh, hey. smell like shit, bro. I don't. You're, know. Hey, hold on, hold on. 
you're Jewish and you'll appreciate this. We kind of ask this about every guest that we have coming. This is the one Asking reoccurring this. question. How, uh, how do you wipe? How do I wipe? How do you wipe? Bro, I just go in the shower. <laughs> Are you being? Are you being <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, dude. Listen, dude. Sometimes, Tell me that's a lie. Guy, sometimes, Tristan, sometimes, sit up. I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes, man, the job is too big. <laughs> you gotta outsource. You gotta, you gotta take it off outsource it, dude. Because sometimes call the I'll just department. wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe, and I don't know. Okay. It's like I just eat too much turmeric. You know what I mean? But like my shit, like it just keeps staying. <laughs> no, I think I it's just because you got another shit in your ass. That's no, usually no. what it is. Wait, wait, wait. No, do I'm you? Here. You don't understand my relationship to shit, Tristan. No, 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 no. I understand, you, bro. <laughs> really, I understand your relationship to shitting. I promise you, the greasiest no, shit you've had. Fucking, you're fucking mixed race, bro. You fucking defeated inbreeding. You it's the ultimate inbreeding. inbreeding. No, and, and you have you have Jewish genetics, and I'm not going to deny you that, man. But if you want to get into a nuanced conversation about race and race science, which, by the way, I'm an no, expert. No, I want to talk about shit, I'm, bro. by the way, an expert in. You're, <laughs> dude, trust me. If you want to have a conversation about race science with Rowie, get on the bus with him going anywhere, and he'll have a 12 day. Like a no, I asked volume about 12 shitting. conversation about race science. I asked about race science. Now, hold on here. Are you a five-hole wiper, or you reach behind? He's speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a five hole wiper? You like, reach okay, behind. Okay, enough about race science. You go yeah. behind. Um, so you know, uh, most of the time I do go to the shower. Uh, sometimes I'll Dude, go please, to the sink. Why are you I'll saying use... that? <laughs> why? Why is that truth that you have I'll in your body? Sometimes I'll use soap and I'll put it on the toilet paper, and I'll fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and Rowie, I'm not gonna lie. We've that is a goaded move. Met our Dude, so man. I'll get soap and water on the toilet paper. I'll give myself a little bath. Have you ever tried? You have you ever a dabbled bidet. in a dude wipe? I do need a bidet, man. I do. You know, I have a joke in my act about I don't not needing bidet because I can flip my penis around my butt cheek and just piss the shit off my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, this what is your what brother you in tell arms. Me to tell them the tag I gave you for that. Oh, what was the tag you gave me for that? It's oh it's the one that does good. It's a uh, uh, you get really serious and you said yeah. I can pee pee the poo poo off of my bum bum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, every, yeah, every. Yeah, every f- yeah, you did. That yeah, was you. Yeah, we're walking. Oh my walking. god, you're amazing, dude. That's every A team so needs fun. a sniper. They That's need a the weapon specialist. Thing I say on stage is pee pee poo poo and bum bum, because then people remember me as like the. Oh, you're like the Jewish wizard Holocaust pee pee poo poo bum bum guy. Yeah, the, you're the <laughs> Anne Frank pee pee poo poo bum bum guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's me. <laughs> But no, dude, no, it's so stupid. I, I'm just like, I don't need a bidet. I am a bidet. It's, it's so retarded. I suck at comedy. It's now, I remember I saw you do that at Sugar Babies, and a table full of Asian women were very afraid of you. Dude, I, <laughs> listen, man, that's the one demographic I haven't been able to reach, and it's Asian women. I got black women. I got black guys. I got white guys, white girls, Asian guys, for sure. Latinos. I don't know about Latinas, actually. You know, I, I, I got to check my dad. If you're not paying attention to your demographics as a comedian, then you're never going to make it, by the way. Let me do a little Jewish insider trading right here. Uh, yeah. You got to pay attention to the people. You have to give Asian, every customer their own water fountain. Yeah. No, Asian women are very concerned by me, my persona, everything I have to say, my energy, and the fact that I exist. But I love them. I love them. I don't, I don't know why I, I can't reach them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? I haven't seen. I haven't seen too many uh, on stage shit from you. Do you zhuzh up the the? What's the word I'm looking for? Do you zhuzh up the, uh, you know, whack, the wacky, the wacky? Do you zhuzh up the wacky a little bit on stage? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing up there, dude. I just kind of black out. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, uh, dude. One of the sets that I saw Rowie do. That just absolutely bewildered me. It was the taping set that you did. Oh my god, the worst bomb! Oh my god, dude. It was so it's so like a three camera so setup bad. at this Brooklyn show, oh my god. and Rowie's going up it at like so the end of the show, and it's like just kind of a corny crowd. And Rowie starts his set off by saying, "I got an Uber driver here today," and he was like, "Oh, where are you going?" And it's like, "Oh, I'm going to a show. I'm a stand-up comedian." He's like, "Oh, tell me a joke." So I actually did. And then the entire ride, he was just telling me how bad of a comedian I was. <laughs> and, and like it was, and then he started like telling me jokes and stuff like that. But all the while he's saying this, it's just 
bombing in it's the room. So and so funny. basically it's he started funny. his set off by saying, I'm, I'm a, a horrible bad. comedian. <laughs> Anyways, here's my jokes. And then everyone was like, I agree with the bus driver. Oh, I bombed Why would so you do much? that? <laughs> dude, I, dude, okay, can I, can I be honest with you? I was smoking like a Delta 8 pen. Oh, that's no good. You can't be smoking. smoking you can't be smoking, smoking those Morty carts. I was smoking fake weed, dude. It wasn't even Morty. It was like it was uh I was at a I was at a vape store in New Jersey and I never buy Delta 8 cuz I I'm a conspiracy theorist and I do not rock with Delta 8. If you want to get into it, I think that there's like a a reverse thousand years of shame kind of thing going on, like a like a revenge for the opium wars kind of thing. Yeah. But that's a conversation for another day. I was, I was in the, I was in the, I, yeah. I was in the, I was in You're the putting fucking store. napalm and p- popcorn butter in those goddamn things, giving them to our kids. But the, so I'm in the vape store, dude, and 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 there's like a there's like. A, there's you gotta fucking, scoot over. You keep, a, you're getting there's a, more I keep more running off, away. Yeah. There, there's, a, there's a Delta Eight. There's like a I'll Delta fuck with Eight the shorts. Uh, pen, and uh, and it's it's called like it's called like the oh fuck. It's like the philosopher pack, and it's like there's one that's like Sophocles, and then there's one that's like uh, the, the the sorcerer's stone. No, the Da Vinci. They had Da Vinci, uh, and this is the this is the. Um, Fuck! What's his name? He uh, he cut his ear off. Van Gogh. The Va- I got. I was like, I gotta get the Van Gogh Delta Eight pen, dude. The, the yeah, this shit's so good. It'll make you it cut was, your ear it off. It was called the Creativity Blend, and I was like, I, comma, a young creative might benefit from this. <laughs> yeah. And really, the only thing it did is that it turned me retarded for a month. <laughs> Actually, Tristan <laughs> smoked it tonight. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I still have it. Is it this? It's this. Oh no. <laughs> So no, his, 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 he's like, his, do you want to hit the weed pen? I'm like, sure. And now I hit it. Mellow fellow. It's yeah. called the mellow fellow. No, nah, your motherboard's mellow. completely dude, fried I anyway. I ate such a huge cock, bro. And, dude, it was so bad. Because I, I have some bits where I do, like, really big act outs. And, like, when you do a huge act out and it eats, it's the worst. It's so bad. There's nothing more so- upsetting than that. You're just being, like, you finish it out and you're, like, slightly out of breath. And people are just staring mm-hmm. back at you, like, is I don't that, do a. Is there uh, more? I don't do a big act but also, out. But in I. In my defense, in my defense, and you went up on the stage. And that was can, a terrible show. You could you could attest the people that go. So it's this place called the Gutter in 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 Williamsburg, and it's a really lovely venue, and like it's a great space for alt comedy. It's really great, and and the, what they have over there is good, but it's the kind of like fucking tech bro and yeah. tech woman like fucking tight uptight fucking yeah, just, assholes with zero soul. <laughs> Whose entire personality is like watching billions, and they're like, yeah. "This is a, oh, <laughs> yeah, just just did succession." You watch mo- the new fucking I have, fuck. What the fuck do these su- people su- do? What do they even succession. do? They fucking they have succession. like the fucking. They're on the fucking hoverboards, like they're on the fucking like the like the. You know what I mean? They're like going everywhere. The dude, they, just people walking suck. around critiquing like the the realism <laughs> of succession. Yes, no. They, these people suck. Like the people that go to that venue suck, and they're like a certain specific kind of. Daniel aesthetically right now looks like he would be birds of a feather there. Yes. Like he, oh my god. He definitely yes. he definitely looks like he would walk in there and just being like, uh, so I just got a new titanium shaft on my four putt. Dude, and you're he, just being like, oh my god. <laughs> <I was> just, <laughs> you guys want to hear about my putter? <laughs> yeah, Bro, he's yeah, just yeah, doing he, the American Psycho speech about golf shit. Dude, da- Daniel. Do you know da- what I? My favorite comedy program in Practical Jokers. I love those silly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, What's your favorite com- sketch comedy show? In Practical Jokers. It'd be so funny to imagine all the people listening to this and being like, I, I love Impractical. No, I, I'm a fucking huge fan of Impractical I, yeah, Jokers. Really I love them. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying it's funny. That's like a very mainstream comedy thing. I still watch Friends vibes on the people in that audience. <laughs> and by the What's way, and by the way, the Daniel, I just want you to know. I just want you to know because Tristan made me think of this. You have the vibe of like a of like a black guy that like they got in the movie Us. Oh, they got you. <laughs> they they got him, and then and then he comes back to the other people, and like, mm. what's up, brother, b- brother Bridge Gad, and then and then you're like, hey guys, how are you? And they're like, oh no, I don't know how black people talk, honestly, but it's like a really <laughs> you're, bad you're, saying, I'm, you're saying, oh no, like, brother, just a uh, brother cousin. Oh, no, brother, dude. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I'm not Malcolm, I'm not Malcolm X. This nigga, like, clip, it's over. For I me, think dude. they don't got our son Daniel <laughs> down by the river, by the river. Yeah, 
Now me and all my kids are gonna go be TSA employees because that's yeah. what we do. Dude, this is, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. this is this is how white my high school was. To so going back to going back to my the school that I went to and the basketball game and all that. This is how white my about, so in middle school in eighth grade. My teacher, who's a bald white man named Mr. Okay. Lewis, mm-hmm. uh, in our slavery unit, um, uh, put on your a, what? Put on a your what? In our, what? We, a unit. We had a unit where we learned about slavery and how. Y'all didn't have y'all oh. have one of those. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, we didn't have. A, we didn't was, have a. Oh. We didn't have a slavery department where we had. I thought slaves. you had like a SWAT team type for slavery, where it's no, like we're no, gonna no, keep this no, enforced this isn't in this Nepal, school, bro. This yeah, is, the yeah. one black kid didn't have to sit the, in the back the, of the class during the, that section. Yeah, oh, dude, that's crazy. There's House Field and Special Ops, the three types <laughs> yeah. of slaves. Technically, there was. Those were the ones that went to go fight yeah. in the wars. There were House Field. It's and like Special the A Ops. team, but it's called the N team. <laughs> 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 I just love when a blunt comes together, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just love it when a blunt comes together. <laughs> Wait, my eighth grade oh, dude, in uh, in uh, what's it? Called? Mr. T is just uh, his name is Trevor. He's just the only white guy. <laughs> it's played by John Cena. Yeah, he is a moderately sized Christ piece, like on a single <laughs> thin chain. In the Christ piece just... and a mullet, dude. Yeah. I doubt the person that disrespects my friends instead of saying a pity the fool. <laughs> I doubt the person who doesn't give me the information I require. <laughs> Bro, imagining I Ben Shapiro the in the fucking yeah. A team would yeah. be hilarious, dude. That's so bad. I'm so bad at riffing. No. Uh, Daniel, I've seen you breathing into the microphone for the past 25 minutes. I feel like you've been trying desperately to talk, and Roby's just on a roll. I haven't said anything. You got all that from no, my eyes. No, that's the point. <laughs> <Dude, shut up. laughs> wait. Oh, wait. So, 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 <laughs> so, 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 wait. So, 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 wait. So, <laughs> if we're on the so, level where we're so, boys now, if we're on the level finish, where we're boys, me, I will dunk your story, Jewish ass. Oh my story. god. <laughs> all right, go ahead, go ahead. So, 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 <laughs> he put on a he put on a curly haired <laughs> wig, and then he put on the song. Have you ever heard the slave song? Uh, Oh Lordy, pick a bale of cotton. Oh Lordy, pick a bale of cotton. We should stop talking about this. Uh, jump down, turn around, pick a bale of cotton. This is what my. So you did. thought He's, if I didn't know the first that song, Piccadilly cotton, then I would know the that. next three. You talking about the slavery <laughs> funky chicken dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Negro well, Shuffle. Yeah, where I'm that familiar. Because he 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 puts he puts on the song on the projector. Then puts on a wig and then starts literally. That's crazy that you said chicken dance because he starts going around the room like this, like. Oh Lord, it pick a bale of cotton. Oh Lord. I think he's trying to have like put it like underneath his like uh, <laughs> like suspenders. I think that's what he was trying to do. <laughs> Which is just so racist in compared to just showing someone a video. Dude, I think about that day and I think about like if like Assad or Michael Green or Geo is at Mecca. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, yo, what is going on right now? Just talking like this. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so what? <laughs> so, 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 I, 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 I was just talking. I was just talking with my teacher and stuff like uh, that, and he was, he was just saying that. Uh, I, uh, he was yeah. saying that like some racist uh, shit, yeah. and I just don't think that's uh, that's uh, that cool. Uh, you know, it's like honestly disrespectful, and honestly, I don't want to be discombobulated <laughs> with the sort of that thing. For real. I mean, like for real. I was just wondering if like there's a possibility uh, that, anyways, um, if any clone could, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, there's this very funny comedian in New York named Assad Benbo. He's a 20 years old autistic boy, and who's uh, very comfortable bombing in front of his friends. <laughs> yeah, no, he's the man. Dude. He's so funny, dude. He, he, Assad, uh, Assad, uh, and so, so this was funny. He only eats fried chicken, and I'm not being racist. I'm not being racist. He only eats I've fried chicken. I've seen him eat pizza, but that's like, like the, that's his main dietary. No, food. yeah, wait, wait, yeah wait, he, like, a... once in a while he eat a pizza. He told me one time. He said. He said one time. He said. Uh, he said. He said the other day I had a pad thai. That shit was like a salad to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he, wait, is that nigga like actually autistic? He only eats fried chicken. Wait, wait, Daniel's saying like, something. Please, please. <laughs> he's got the he's talking he's got the talking Benjamin, all right? Yeah. Uh, that's good. Is that nigga actually autistic? I mean only God knows, but intuitively, I mean like functionally speaking, he's autistic. Like I don't know if that's diagnosably true, but functionally speaking, yes. What would be unfunctionally speaking autistic? Not speaking. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah not kids. speaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they make those brand too. <laughs> 
They're less fun. They're always left on the shelves. You got a discount. Damn it. <laughs> two for, well, two if for I get one. two, it's a bundle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I get two, yeah, I can like, sell it as a bundle. That's just yeah. a deal. You know, it's like black baby dolls in the early 2000s. They're just like, we got to get rid of these things. It I mean, I'll get halfway mess. through this one and they'll be like, oh, I'm going to have to run to the store. And then be like, no, I got a second. I, I yeah. looked out for me. I looked out for me. That had to be a real scenario at some point. Just like a, a little white girl gets a black baby doll and a father has to choose where he draws the racial line. He's like, this turns into the this turns into the captain of the football team in 15 years if I don't play my fucking cards right. No, I saw I saw this cute uh, I saw this cute video where it was like this dude with his uh, daughter in a Target and she was going through the Barbies and it was like a little black Barbie and he's just like, no, you don't want that one. She's just in the house. He's like, get this one. She's a job. She's a CEO. You want to be that girl? And just like <laughs> got like the business black Barbie lady instead of like the sitting in the house black Barbie lady. Ah. It's like she's just out shopping and shit. No, you want to get the business one. She's a th- that's a she e o baby futures female. You know, I'm just yeah. like, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, no bimbo with the beach Barbie. Get this bitch in a pantsuit. Let's check out. That's a business yeah. queen. That's a welfare queen. We don't want yeah. that one. No, yeah. but you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna. We got I'm- one bitch spending money. We got one bitch making money. Who you want to be? <laughs> Welfare Queen Barbie comes with three changeable bonnets. And you're like, God. That's horrible. <laughs> Baby Daddy not so okay. separately. <laughs> it's say. just an empty Ken box. <laughs> uh, acrylic sold separately. <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll get serious about that. I'll get serious about that point because it is actually interesting because it is important, like, the who you look up to, you know, when you're a kid, you know? Because, like, you know, like, they're – there, you know, some girls will grow up and they'll just watch princess movies, and then they'll they'll live their entire lives in like a princess fantasy. So yeah, they'll guys. be they'll they'll live up to be want to be a princess, end up being a bartender, and that's kind of where the life goes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so real. That's so sad, dude. That's so real. Oh I my mean, god. in a in a wow. yeah, I guess in a sense, you're a princess. At the end of the night, at the end of the night, I'm sure there's a lot of people being like, "Hey, princess, please hang out with me." And just be like, oh. That's why saying like, evil wish. stepsisters were princess. such cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, has anyone ever told you you laugh like the ostrich from Family Guy? Uh-huh. Yeah, you. Just, you just, <laughs> oh, the ostrich from just, Family Guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, just, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> <laughs> It's just like hey, Roey laughs like an adult baby. <laughs> He's like, ah ha 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 ha. I don't know why, but I can see Roey like clapping his like bottom of his hands together, doing his weird feet thing where he's grabbing. Roey's the only person to get foot and mouth disease at 25 years old. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Roey. He died of SIDS. Yeah, wait, I'm wait, I'm Tristan. I'm Tristan. Don't we all eat a little bit of our own cum? <laughs> That's iconic. <laughs> yeah, when Scooby Doo did it, you're just a hack scientist here. <laughs> I haven't done the joke in so long. That's such a good joke. I haven't done that so joke in so long. Hosting at the God. stand, they don't like it. You know, yeah, it's too early. Being too yeah, early. being the first person to be like, you eat your own cum. How are the fries? What like, you guys didn't <laughs> think there'd be. Well, you guys didn't think there'd be a little bit of dirty comedy at the Dirty Comedy Show? <laughs> My name's Tristan Bowling. Welcome to the Stand Comedy Club. <laughs> Welcome to the Stand Comedy Club. Oh, oh I dude. I, talk about Stand... Dude, I, I was leaving Devils last night, and I saw one of the most hysterical things. That, dude, I was walking out. I was heading to my car, and... Uh, bro, uh, if you don't... Devils is like an open mic that we do on Mondays, but... Okay. I was In heading Arizona. to my car. Yeah, I was heading to my car. And out of nowhere, there was this white dude and his girlfriend walking into Devils. And then further away, there was just a, a lone black dude yelling out, Hey, white devil, turn around. White devil. You white devil, turn around. And then event- like the guy didn't turn around. And then eventually he was just like, Hey, white boy. And the guy turned around. And he's like, Didn't you hear me calling you? I was like, yeah, he heard you calling him White Devil. No one's turning around to that. That's the wildest thing, way to get someone's attention, dog. Now, if yeah. you called him a cracker ass bitch, nigga, maybe he would have, <laughs> maybe he would have swiveled, maybe he would have spun. <laughs> it's all about the vernacular, dude. I mean, maybe that's how. Funny. That's how you. I, honestly, that's that's first rule of being a White Devil. You don't respond to White Devil <laughs> like that. You sell yourself immediately. If someone was just like a Nazi, and you're just like, hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, dude. Oh, yeah, wristband, guys. armband. Sorry, guys. Dude, no. If if uh, one time a Caribbean girl at my job called me white man, 
Yeah. And why Deva. <laughs> And yeah, it, it turned me on so much. Oh dude. yeah, it's just so cre- hot. She hey, goes, dude. She goes, she goes, yeah, white deva. And dude, this was the same. Was this the same Caribbean girl who was uh, teaching you how to do stuff at your old job? And she no, got. And no. she, <laughs> dude, the, there was a the person who was training. It's a different Re- Caribbean woman. Yeah, there's a Caribbean woman who had to train Rowie at his. Not job. a young hot one, like an old. Fat. Yeah, it, it wasn't was like uh, it God wasn't like Calypso her. from Pirates of the Caribbean. It wasn't like some no, bad no, fucking yeah, Calypso. Fucking bad, dude. Yeah. I did. I think that was honestly one of my first crutches was Calypso because yeah. I remember seeing her and I'm like, I bet she smells, and I want to smell what she smells. She had like. black teeth, and I was still like, you know, I mean, I bet you she got to suck a mean dick to not give a fuck yeah. about her teeth. She's like got that, that voodoo head. <laughs> yeah, just being like, do you want to feel the heart of the ocean? Just being like, yeah. yes, dude. <laughs> you don't know who that I also want to feel the pussy yeah. in the breast of the ocean. It's like put a squid on my dick. Pussy. I don't care, Calypso. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's funny how Jamaicans do kind of sound like Irish people. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it yeah. comes it comes from the same place. We, we looked that up. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, no, but the, there is this uh, yeah. Jamaican woman who is uh, she got full force of being with Rowie and trying to teach <laughs> Rowie something. And like, I think you quoted me. You were telling me about it at open mic. I'm like, how's the training going, man? And he's just like, she's like, yeah, I don't think my trainer likes me. And I'm like, why? And he's like, because she put me aside. He's like. If you could sit there, not to move, not to make a single sound for three minutes. <laughs> He's like, that's all I need you to do. And then she, you just sit there and you're just like, <laughs> it's just like, the Lord has sent me, he sent you to test my patience. <laughs> well, that's what it was because the job was, it was at this horrible, horrible place called the Tin Building. That's like 12 restaurants and a food market in one building. It's, it's kind of nice. It's nice to go there. It's not nice to work it's there. It's so overrated. The only reason that you think it's nice is because you're a, literally a trailer trash American. Boy, is it like uh, is it like, and, Edel, is and, it like and, Italy and, and kind you of? You're from Arizona. You don't understand food it's, or culture. It's waterfront. It's so fucking... It's, it's just pizzazz. It's just like it just looks really elegant, and the ingredients are elegant, but the it's actually very trashy. But... Um, and I'm saying that as a coastal. Elite. I was about to say, so am I, I am I am I trash or are you just some snob? I'm I'm a huge snob. Are you a food uh, Are you a food snob for real? Like like I'm that's a your huge deal? Snob, bro. Because fucking Dude, don't just. There's no garbage, way you could bro. say you're a food snob, and then I see you just being like scounging for change to get like a Jamaican beef patty from a deli. Bro, Jamaican beef patty, that's classic. Dude, I and, had and I don't go to the deli. I go to Jamaican flavors. I, right next to my I've house, seen they it. have. I, I've seen. Yeah, far you've seen me down bad. Yeah, okay. I've seen you. I'm that's like, not I've my seen you do far worse. Bob. Now but, you're but, ratatouing. But but, 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 okay, just because I eat food that's left over on other people's plates doesn't mean that I'm not a snob. It means that I'm curious about the flavors <laughs> that they have <laughs> yeah. on their plates. That's what that is. And yeah, you're trying to take the tour of Italy right now, dude. You're trying to take the tour of Italy. <laughs> but, 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 uh, the job was just to stand there silently by yourself alone for eight hours. Which is the hardest the thing in the break. world for you? It to was, do. and well, really, the job was to put stickers on bags for Uber Eats deliveries. But basically, when I started the job, I was on Adderall, and then I quit Adderall. While I was at the job because I would lose my mind. But I basically just showed up. Basically, there was like a fucking. You saw where I had to work. It was oh like yeah, a, it was like an eight by three rectangle that I could occupy. It was and like a little kiosk in the subsection of the thing, but it was so funny. They had a roasting chicken section on the adjacent end and he was just having asthma attacks because yeah, all the dude. chicken oh my God. all the chicken the roasting wood smoke fire. From the chicken roasting yeah. dude. And and there was literally dude, it was such a terrible job. There was one time where I was having an asthma attack because I'm Jewish and I was and and whenever I, I get sick I get an asthma attack. And and uh my girlfriend and her roommate are laughing at me from the other <laughs> room. <laughs> I heard that. But, but, I can yeah. hear that. <laughs> but the, 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 so I had this asthma attack and then we had like walkie talkies and I'm like, I need help. The smoke is too much. I'm having Why are you doing it like a first breathe. responder in 9-11, dude? Dude, yeah. The <laughs> first tower has collapsed. The first tower has collapsed. <laughs> also, the second do- batch of chicken is done. No, the second batch no, of chicken is no, done. No, 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 yeah. no. You're wrong. You're wrong. I was. I couldn't breathe. Yeah. Uber eats for Javier. I repeat, Uber eats for Javier. <laughs> yeah. And then, mm-hmm. and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then my boss was like, and then, "All right, just like give it like 15 minutes, and we'll send someone down." 
I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Fucking... <laughs> You're not going to get a Chappelle special, buddy. Dude, yeah. Getting, <laughs> getting, yeah, getting yeah, slow yeah, cooked on behalf of Uber. 33, the 15 minutes I had to wait. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> to alleviate me from my asthma attack. Yeah. <laughs> Roby, I did not. Huge backup. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to equate myself to George Floyd, man. I did not. <laughs> Yeah. I, no, didn't no, wanna, you're good. No, you're good. I didn't want to do that. No, you're fine. Oh man. Oh, I'm so fucked after this. Oh man. When the Are when you having a good time, bro? Yeah, this having podcast a... episode, dude, yeah. it's over for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you saying, Dana? Are you having a good time, bro? You hanging out? Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, you are you little rap scallion. Just volume up cuz I keep, I feel like I keep stepping on on Dan cuz cuz No, I dude, you're, you're Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, your volume straight. is down. No, I'm having a good time. Uh, I'm really upset about that George Floyd thing, though. That did really make me upset. <laughs> I've also, Roy, I want to let you know, I've never heard someone say, and then, so many and times then, in then, an then, hour. Then, <laughs> Bro, you sound, like a, you sound like you're trying to speak in Morse code, dude. You're like, and then, 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 and then. No, Roey has converse. Uh, Roey has conversations like how like a toddler who's super excited to tell you about a water slide <laughs> has a conversation about you. Where you just be like, I went up to the top, and then, and then. And then, and then, and then, and just be like, just be like get Bro, it out, in, dude. Holy shit. You could shit. be in the middle of an important conversation. Roe would just tug on the bottom of your t-shirt and tell you something. Yeah. That's yeah. So mean. Dude, that's I found so a mean. Jolly Rancher on the floor, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> well, it's because it's because it's because I live with chicks. So, like, the amount of time that I can spend actually talking about, like, cool stuff with dudes is so like, I live with girls. So I have to be like, oh, how's your day? Oh, oh, what happened at, at your job? And like, I, but dude, I don't care. Like, I want to know nah. what happened to the Jews actually. Nah. In, in you got to run <laughs> down. You got to run down and lay the <laughs> law the around truth? that motherfucker. You got to run down and tell these bitches you're going to like football. We're all gathering around. We're watching the Jets play the Chiefs on Monday night. And it is dude, what I it is. No, it's time. it's Liverpool versus Arsenal. And you know, that's true. Really. <laughs> it's actually it's first of all, bro. You know I got every fucking Bama game March Madness going to my fucking house no matter you what. You guys are such cocksucks. You guys are what? such cocksucks. I hate you for ruining everyone's brackets. And no, then you're you like, oh, us look at us. Winning. And that's the thing. And that's the thing. And that's what separates me from you, okay? Because you got an injury. You never got to experience victory, okay? In your athletic career, you never got to experience victory the same way that I did. I went to Alabama. Do you know what Alabama? Do you know what our slogan is? Where where champions are made. Okay, I have a winner's mentality, and you hate that about me. You hate that I'm a winner. You hate that I. I <laughs> Don't you use you my argument against me? Don't you kill me with my own gun? You hate that I'm a yeah. winner, you cocksuck. Dude, you damn, <laughs> damn. I was a he was, like damn, team. damn. He was a uh, he. He basically home invaded you, found your gun safe, and shot you when you were coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he goes. What's the passcode? Four twenty sixty nine. Idiot. <laughs> he just, just blows me away. Hack. Nice ass. silent shotgun, <laughs> pussy. That's actually. That's actually. That's actually my. Uh, that's actually my banking password. Four twenty sixty nine. What's your social? My my banking password is doughy four twenty sixty nine. You know what I watched the other day was Neighbors, and at the very end, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Bro, what what's you your mother's that? maiden name? Yeah. Her tug. Why? Wait. Let's get the social. Don't say your social. I'll never give you my social. Don't say oh. it. You're whispering <laughs> into I'll my microphone. Move you. <laughs> <laughs> your microphone. I'll tell you my social. I it's don't so want to know Tristan, you're just going like this. It's like, just whisper it in my ear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing Disney XD hands. Oh, God. Bah, then do bah, the Mickey, then do bah, Mickey Mouse. Bah. Then do the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, how do you think the Mickey <laughs> yeah. Mouse is drawn? Huh? Get, do it with your finger. Nah, why see, is there a, a third lump? That was a Does glove. Mickey have cancer? <laughs> That's Lumpy Space Princess. No, no, it's the side of his head, you fucking idiot. It's not just two ears. <laughs> that was Jay the Leno. That was bed. nowhere near Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse is, is <laughs> Mickey's is like, eh, eh, eh. No, eh. no. It's, so you start here. Wait. Mm. Uh, well, Daniel's wait, really on. the expert. So so you... so. Hold on, this is really confusing because because <laughs> it's it's, in mirror it's image. harder than it looks, niggas. Thank you. No, I can do it. I just it's a mirror image. I just need so more it's time. Like, it's like this, and then you go ear, and then there's a space in between the two ears, and then there's right. another ear. N most niggas don't down. appreciate the space. There's a space in the middle for the head. There's which an really arch. Is rounded. Yeah, right. There's an arch right. in the middle. There is an arch. It's a because well, you got to go first arch. arch on the side, 
big arch, middle, big arch, second one down the side, sign it, and then the bah, bah, Kim Possible's on at 9.30. Dude, what the fuck? Why is there a pentagram on your counter? Hmm? Above the menorah, two levels above the menorah. There's it's a not pentagram. a pentagram. It's filled with sticks. He lives with a white one. Yeah, but look at the shape of it. It's a pentagram. <laughs> yeah. it's only satanic. you would notice. Only you would notice that, dude. There's literally you have a satanic jar in your. Are house. you guys not noticing the Fibonacci sequence differential <laughs> in this guy's house, bro? Roey's the only person I know that has more conspiracies than Brad. Yeah, dude. You you Roey's the, okay? Ro the only type of person who has conspiracy theories about his own friends. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you're dead. Like, I think Daniel's a part of the Illuminati. It's just like, ask him. I mean, I really don't <laughs> yeah. think he is. He's, after Wait, after the podcast, I, he's going to be like, Daniel's been compromised. We can't trust him anymore, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 His Wait, get out comment was basically podcast, a dog whistle. Time of this podcast, I, with my foot, have broken two of the drawers <laughs> on my dresser. He is. Why I, are I've you watched like him. This? I've watched him unscrew both with his feet. And then try what? desperately as he shoves the screws into the dresser. I've been trying. I've been trying to open the drawer. You might as well just text Aldo. You're taking off fucking furniture shit with your feet? That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, Aldo, you want to tag in? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I <laughs> mean, Hey, you know what, Ro, we'd probably appreciate? And we're almost about at that time. Go to, uh, go to the Patreon. What? As always, uh, when you join the Final Stop Patreon, we encourage you to change your Patreon name to something fun, something spectacular, something dark if you want. And we'll read it, and we like having our guests go through our Patreon. Uh, really? I promise you, you have time to put the fucking knobs back on the dresser. I'll Just do don't do it I'll right do it. now. Yeah, I'll do it later. We like going. <laughs> I'd we, love to hear the Not names. in the middle while I'd we're currently the broadcasting. They want to change, the change your, they wanna change your uh, thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, 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 no. We <laughs> ask every Patreon member to change their genders every week. <laughs> yeah, we got a oh, oh, I thought you were saying because your name is the Keeper of Recipes and then Daniel's father, Bridge Gad. No, so I'm like, the Keeper oh, of Dad. Recipes because of that one. That one uh, we're losing recipes. recipes. We're losing recipes. <laughs> yeah. That Michael Irvin, that Michael Irvin video. Recipe? You never seen that? <laughs> Have you never seen pull that it, clip? Pull it up. Pull it up. It's fun. Yeah, it's Michael like Irvin, the, the old Cowboys clip receiver. Where he's like, some dude is getting like super passionate talking about it, just like, women don't know how to cook no more. They're not learning from their mama. <laughs> We're losing recipes. And, and he's not just... wrong, bro. These bitches aren't cooking no more. Microwave doesn't do it. An air fryer doesn't mean you're cooking proper cuisine. An air fryer sucks shit. It's a We're shitty recipe. We're losing Why recipes. Bitches, oh, I'm, pulling up, I'm pulling it up right now. I'm pulling it up you right said now. What? Right? That's so funny. That's so funny. We're losing Do recipe. you want to go get that free joint after this? There's a place down the block from my house that gives away free joints if you post on their shit on Instagram. And you're only allowed to do it once, but I've done it four times. Oh my God, this is what's wrong with today. The young ladies today, they're not learning from mom. How to cook, we're losing recipes. And now... <laughs> <laughs> they're not learning how to cook. We're losing recipes. We're losing recipes. We're losing recipes. <laughs> not anymore. Now we have a keeper, a keeper of the recipes. <laughs> the keeper of the recipes. Dude. Yeah, you're yeah. like Idris Elba in, in your, four, in your in eyes your are all gray. Beautiful library of Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Pull up the pull up the Patreon. You've got the Let's Akashic records. <laughs> 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 You have the first, bro. Mo bro, I got the tablets from Moses for the recipes, dog. You have the, <laughs> you have the original matzo recipe behind glass. <laughs> like yeah. a Mona Lisa, dog. Yeah. A bunch of people just hot glue their hands to it or whatever in protest. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I want to see the names. I want to see that. Wait, can you open my window? I'm actually sweating bullets. I know. I was going to ask earlier if you wanted me to. It's like oh, condensating. I, wish you, I wish you did that forever ago, dude. All right. Here we go. So, okay. Here we go. So there's a. Uh, yeah, anytime you see a fun one, just, just pick it. Valerie. This... Valerie Oriana. Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Valerie Orlana, isn't that your last name, Andrew? Yeah, it's his sister. That's yeah. his sister. Yo, your sister listens to this podcast. I don't think yeah, that's it's... what that is. But <laughs> <it's great>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I really hope people dox you that. <laughs> I, really, I really hope that's what that is. Okay, wait. Um, uh, there's Blake Gafer who's trying times. Uh, femboy bussy tight clap my shit to Venga Boys. <laughs> What's a Venga Boy? <laughs> Venga Boys is a fantastic band from the 90s. I can't keep going over this with you. <laughs> you know they the made boom, this song boom, boom, boom. boom. 
Oh, boom, boom, boom. No, no that is <laughs> Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to guess the Spider song I can understand the confusion. Those are the same <laughs> lyrics, but it's like... It's boom, boom, boom. I, I want, want you, you in my room. room. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I know all about that, bro. Yo, I don't know if I told you this. I'm rebranding to Kauai. I've seen you. I've yeah, seen you do a I'm, lot of dances recently. I'm re- Dude, I got the one that's like, uh, uh, fuck, what is it? It's a uh, Nya Ichi Ni San Nya. And then you go, Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm the one who's compromised. I'm, I'm compromised. So kawaii, bro. Yeah, dude. Kawaii desu. Okay. Um, Lupus is uh, Hayden changed his name to Lupus, which is great. Or as they That's call awesome. in Japan, Orupus. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's amazing we got through this much Asian content without without a hard L to R. That's fine. I've actually been trying. The, the only reason I've been funny is because I've been like, don't say anything about Asians. Don't say anything about Asians. Don't say anything about Asians. <laughs> And then, okay, um, uh, uh, Russell Hand. Like it. More like Russell Hand me a a blunt because I want to smoke some weed. All right, cool. Uh, we got uh, <laughs> we got Carl, my favorite violence is white on white violence, Goldthorpe. No, he changed his shit. A, you should get an Asian on Asian it's violence. It's more like white. Extreme. <laughs> more like it's white blood cells on lupus fucking violence. <laughs> Yo, Wait, bump mics? Oh, that was so loud. I just watched it spike. <laughs> your, your dad changed his, too. My dad, Brad, I want some drip chicken bowling. No, he said he said it black as hell. Brad, I want me some drip chicken. <laughs> oh, I didn't even <laughs> read it right. Ch- and he spelled chicken with an I at the end, like a fucking incel. That's chicken. crazy. Chicken? Chicken. No, that's chicken. That's how black people spell chicken. <laughs> yeah, chicken. I just made that up. I really didn't mean that. A I'm woman sorry. formerly known as Cans. That's just Trevin. Haley? Yeah. Wait, what's the... Is go down. Go down. Yeah, that's Haley. Oh, my God. I should read her email. No, don't. Haley? <laughs> no. It's okay. No one will ever guess how to spell her name. I. It's so... It, literally two tries. Uh, <laughs> wait, scroll down. Uh, uh, shirtless shirt. final stop donate. Oh, yo. Shout out uh, Roman Grislavka. And because his email is <laughs> apple suck ass twenty two at com. Why are you doxing Grijalva not, like that? It's not, it's Bec- not his name. That's funny. because he it's uses email iCloud that's email. That's not the one he cares Everybody about. Everybody email apple suck ass twenty two at iCloud com. Email him a bunch of child porn. Let's get this guy <laughs> fucking deported. Let's get this guy out of the country. And that's all the time that's- we have today. <laughs> We'll see you guys later. Rowie, please don't get picked up by any federal agencies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything you know about the U.S. elections and vaccines are a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, tell a friend about the cast. We'll see you guys next I week. Mean, I don't know what you know about him, but, but statistically, you don't know what's going on. All right, we're done. <laughs>